Oh, my name is Joe Rand and you're watching Bison TV. Welcome return to the ice for the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basic Stoke Bison as Grant Rounding made his comeback from injury as the host welcomed Milton Keynes Lightning to town for another pulsating English Premier Ice Hockey League clash. With plenty up for grabs between the two sides, neither was giving an inch. Sean Thompson and Jordan County exchanged pleasantries behind the play to set the tone for what was potentially to come. Chances were few and far between, but when they came the way of the visitors, Thomas Hiedlowski was proving himself more than equal in the Bison net. <laughs> At the other end, Dean Skins was also up to the task of keeping the herd out, more of a war of attrition than anything else as the first period ended goalless. After the break though, the game began to open up and it was the Lightning who were the first to strike. Blaz Emesic getting away from his man before feeding Jordan County for the opener, leaving the pool ball win agency's bases don't bison with a mountain to climb. Hopes though will get a response soon after. A turnover in neutral ice allowed Kieran Long to set up Joe Greener. His powerful drive sending a ding around the arena as a pinpoint finish left the crossbar levelled the scores. Skins left with not much of a chance as our Barracuda Network's replay shows. And once again, hard work in the neutral zone brought its rewards for the hosts as they took the lead. Thomas Karpov winning the puck before charging to the net and finding a way past Skins at the near post. A Barracuda Network's replay again showing what a fine finish it was from the Czechman. The MK coach didn't want to replay before making his decision, putting Jordan Maher in net as the period drew to its conclusion. It seemed to do the trick for the Lightning in the third though, the team coming out firing with Lee Jameson finding the back of the net to level the scores and set up an interesting finale. MK continued to knock at the Bison goal and put the pressure on, but the Herd's defence was holding firm, whether it was Hiedlowski or the defence that was shutting the door as the match went to overtime. The one moment of drama in the extra period involved the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basic Stoke Bison crowd holding their breath as Hiedlowski took an unfortunate slip to the ice. 
Thankfully for him and the home crowd, a fair bit of scrabbling eventually cleared the danger as the match went to penalty shots. First up was Marco Lomala for the Lightning, but Hielowski introduced him to the one resident of Pocek City to hand the advantage to the hosts. Joe Rand then had the chance to put the Bison ahead and bamboozle Marr on what could be his final appearance in a Bison jersey, bringing back memories of his playoff shot in the process, the perfect final memory of Joe Rand in a herd jersey. Jordan Cowley then needed to find the back of the net to keep the pressure on. But again, Hidlowski came up with the goods. <laughs> Meaning if Kieran Long found the back of the net, it would be a Bison victory. And of course, he did. The Paul Baldwin Agency's Basic Stoke Bison's home rule continuing with yet another win.